Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we have a whole different background setup, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this. This is so easy to do, so affordable, and it makes everything so much more fun and fresh. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. If you guys are interested to see how I did this, keep on watching. Here's what you're gonna need. It's super simple. All you need are printed photos and tape. Optional materials are thumbtacks, command strips, and poster board. To get these photos, we're gonna go on Pinterest. Search for the type of look you're going for, but make sure to add the word aesthetic in the search. This helps narrow down the photos that you want, so it cuts the amount of time spent looking for decent photos. This DIY is completely customizable to you, but for demonstration purposes, I want to go for a pastel look, so I typed in aesthetic background pastel, aesthetic background for wallpaper, aesthetic photos for dorm, etc. As you can see, Pinterest has a lot of variety, so once you find photos that you like, just open that up onto a new tab. It's always better to have more variety, so keep browsing until you are satisfied with all the photos that you have. Once you have all the photos that you want, hit the button with the three dots and download them. Keep doing that until you have all the photos that you need. Now that you downloaded a bunch of photos, take all the photos that you have and put them in a folder to keep them organized. These are what my photos look like. And of course, if you don't want to do all this, you can click the link in the description box where you can just download a zip file of all the photos that I use. I went for a pink theme with hints of blue and I think it turned out super cute. So make sure to check that out if you want to save a few steps. Now we have to print these babies out. You can use CVS, Shutterfly, whatever works for you. I just happen to use CVS because they had a discount on all photo services. So make sure to check out all the deals before you decide to print them out. Two important things to point out is to make sure to print these photos out matte because if you have a ring light or external lighting source like me, glossy photos will only emphasize the backlights and make it really difficult to see the photos. You can also opt out for larger prints, but the 4x6 is cheaper, so your girl gotta work on a budget. So because I wanted to make my background on the go friendly, I used poster board as the foundation instead of my wall. However, if this is a permanent setup, by all means use your wall. This is just a little bit more convenient for me if I wanted to film somewhere else so I can just take this down and put it up wherever I wanted. Once your foundation is set, it's time to add all the photos. There's no rhyme or reason to this. I kind of just placed wherever it looked good and made sure no photos were similar. Yay, we are finally done. Super simple, right? Comment down below if you guys would try this out yourself. This is the final product. What do you guys think? I think this turned out so well. I love all the colors going around and it's so, so cute. This is exactly the look that I was going for for my filming background. If you guys are interested to see where I got all these photos from, I'll link it down below. Like what my shirt says, this is a little bit extra, but it will be so worth it. It makes your room look so much better. And trust me, I am so excited to start filming on this background instead of some random wall that I've been trying to film on for the last few videos. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.